My name is Rick Rasmussen. I'm 49 years old. Grew up in Coeur d'Alene, Idaho, and we live in Dalton Gardens, so we live here, been here our whole life. I have a wife, Cheryl. She was my high school sweetheart. We've been married, just celebrated our 25th wedding anniversary. We also have two great daughters, Chelsea, who's 20 years old. The youngest daughter is Kylie, and she is 17 years old. I'm six foot six. Um, my max weight when we started this, for, you know, all thinking about it was 420 pounds. And so I've been probably 300 plus since high school. Every school picture, I was the biggest one in the picture. I was always the, usually the tallest and the biggest. So I was always the, you know, when we stood in line to go to lunch and it was from the smallest to the largest, I was always at the end of the line. After graduating from Coeur d'Alene High School, I went over to the University of Montana and started my football career in college over there. I also did track and fields, and they had us eating, you know, five to 6,000 calories a day. Everything was pushed towards uh, always, you know, getting big, so I was used to doing that. My dad was a coach and um, went through a lot of stuff at home where he would push for, he called it clean plate club, and you gotta get big to play sports, and between me and my brothers, we were probably going through four gallons of milk every couple of days. I don't know, rarely anybody did not call me big, big Rick, big boy, big whatever. It was always added to that, you know, and so it was a, a statue thing. It wasn't anything like, you know, I ate because I was depressed or sad or going and binge eat or anything like that. I remember being at the Portland Zoo trying to push the kids around. I had to sit down and Cheryl had to push two strollers and getting the kids all over the place. There were times when we would go and do stuff and go to Disney World and I couldn't get on a ride because I either weighed too much or it was too big for a ride. You know, there's just things that, you know, I haven't gone to the extender belt on an airplane, but I'm right at the limit there, you know. I mean, there'll be people on Southwest that will sit forward in a row before they'll sit next to me in a plane. Uh, probably six years ago, I started having, well, probably 10 years ago, probably having knee problems from playing sports and doing different things. So went in there and, uh, found out that I needed to have my hips replaced. I've had both hips replaced. I don't have high blood pressure yet. I don't have diabetes yet. I don't have sleep issues yet, you know, so, but it, you just know it's coming when you read all the research and you see what's going on. And, and I, you know, I want to be there to walk my daughters down the aisle, to want to be there to be when they have grandchildren. And I, you know, I just know that without this thing to help me out and then with the changes we're going to make outside of that that I won't be there to do that. You know, I've tried to do stuff, I volunteer a lot, I've you know, coached teams, I've been presidents of organizations, I'm on the chamber, I try to do different things but it comes down where you can help other people but once in a while you got to stay back and say I got to help myself. When my dad passed away I um, knew that I wanted to make a change. And so then I started researching, I started looking at, you know, all the different avenues and look at success rates, you know, people that go on Weight Watchers or people that go on Jenny Craig or, you know, we, we tried the Slim Fast and we tried the Atkins diets and we tried um, all the other different things that are out there and the amount that yo-yo back and forth, that lose some and then come back and then lose it again or try something, you know, and I, I knew I wanted to have a permanent decision. Dr. Pennings builds in a whole program. It starts with the the consult and going in there, but you'll find out it's a team, you know, at their place. It's a total package. You meet with a dietitian two or three times. You meet with a psychiatrist that has you fill out a whole range of paperwork that, and then we met with him. And that was a two hour meeting. Went and met, went to a seminar, listened to the, the folks that he has, and it's an all around inclusive program. So. I went to the first seminar just to go see about it, about a year ago, and just kind of get my mind. And then when I made the decision with my dad and everything, I went back and it was much more serious, intently listened to what he had to say. And um, I knew he was the man right there. The sleeve has overtaken from all the research and everything has overtaken what the, the most popular or the most beneficial and the best result it doesn't limit the food, type of food you eat. 
so I could still have the foods that I like and enjoy and be around and have birthday cake, it's just going to be small. I could have a steak, but it's going to be probably an eighth or a tenth of the size, you know, from going to out to a big restaurant and getting a, you know, 44 ounce uh, porterhouse. You know, it's a you know lifestyle change, a brand new philosophy, and it's a just a system that um, you know I just can't imagine how if I didn't do something and there wasn't this opportunity, I don't know what else I'd be trying out there. I mean, I just know it's needed. You know, it's a problem, and people have issues, and you know, and people, you know, you grow up and you have certain eating habits and things like that, and it is. Uh, disease and that you know it's but it's curable and that there you know it's, it's a type of thing that you know there's other diseases and you see cancer and you see stuff and people try and they can't you know here's something that is curable and I have potential to control my destiny.